So this is what we're going to do in this video. We are going to confirm that the USB port is constantly powered. That's my key fob. Okay. And it's inside the house. I'm going to go into the garage. And there is my car. It's an electric. It is not plugged in. And notice how this doesn't light up because I don't have the key fob to actually open it. So it doesn't light up proximity. It doesn't know that I'm here. Locked. Can unlock it. And it's not charging. You see the lights are not flashing. Actually, there is a little red flashing light. Oh, that's the security light. That's the security light that's flashing. But what we do see in here, and it's a little bit hard right there. I can show it with my shade. See that little white thing right there? That right there? That is a fan. That is a USB powered fan and it's plugged into the front USB and it is spinning. So that right there is the fan that's spinning. Let's look from the other side. It's hard to tell, but it's right there. Uh, there, there it is, right there, that little round thing. See it's spinning around in a circle. So it's powered by the front USB port. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back in, get the key, we're going to open it up and we're going to check it out. Back to our ionic electric. And now, ooh, now it turns on. Now I can unlock. And here we are. And you can even hear it. Right there. That's our USB powered fan. I'm going to unplug it now. And there you go. So you see the front USB port right there. I can't get it. It's hard to do it from this angle, but it's constantly powered. With the car turned off, not charging, and it's been spinning like this for over an hour now. So that is parasitic train. If you have a USB key plugged in, if you have this fan plugged in, it is draining from the 12 volt battery. Eventually the battery saver will kick in and it will start complaining about the fact that, yes, we had to use the battery saver, to, you know, battery saver to save the 12 volt battery. In fact, if I turn it on right now, I probably should be complaining about that right now. Now it's fully on. That is powered. That little chime sound is my dash cam. There it is. No, 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 that's my phone. This phone that I'm filming with. Let's put an EV here. And I have 95% battery. I guess it's not enough to actually make the thing complain. This is probably because it has a very, very low draw. It's not drawing that many amps. Now, this, if, as far as I know, this USB port here in the front draws very, has very, very poor amperage because I plug in my phone to try to charge it into this and it just doesn't work. This is, it just doesn't keep up with the usage of the phone when I'm doing, you know, ways and stuff like that. So I actually use this. So I have a nice little adapter here or several plugs in it. And I just plug that in and I got 2.4 amps at the top. That's, this is the one powering my dash cam until I figure out how to do a permanent installation on that side. And I got this plug right here, which is a shorty that goes to this Qi ch uh, wireless charger. And this one here powers my battery pack, my uh, power bank, which I'm currently using to power up the... Anyway, it's complicated. That's not the point. <laughs> Sorry, there I got sidetracked. The point is, basically, these USB ports is constantly powered. Now, the thing is, this one over here is not. This one here in the glove box, you can tell right there, okay? We are currently turned on. Sorry if the video is not showing everything because I'm trying to figure my orientation out here. And I should really take the junk out of my glove box when I do these kind of things. But here we go. The fan is spinning because the car ooh, because the car is on. Okay? Now if I power off. There goes the fan. 
See? It's stopped. So, this one here is only powered when the car is on. Now, that's how the front one should be as well. So, but if you plug it in now... Uh-oh, it's running. We'll get out of the car, we'll lock it up, and you'll see it's still running. Okay, keep an eye on it. Lock. And it is still spinning around there, right there. So, that is conclusive evidence right there that the USB port in the front is powered at all times. Don't plug a USB key in there, you'll just drain your battery for no reason. Probably not enough amps to charge up your phone, but anything you plug in there will be draining the battery, like that little fan. On the other hand, plugging that little fan right there doesn't use that many amps, so it might be a nice little way to circulate some air in the summertime. Just open up the window just a slight bit, plug that thing in there, it circulates the air inside of your inside your cabin. Hmm. How about that? We just discovered something interesting for the summertime. Anyway, there you go.